All right, we good? Let's go. Buddy, what happened? What's wrong? What, had a long night? Can't get up, no string? Huh, catching your breath, huh? Again, this is like our fourth run. Get up, get up. We've only run two miles. <laughs> You're hilarious. You see, with me, you know, I can always charge myself very fast, even though I had a long night. I had a lot of things on my plate, you know, from, you know, doing work, all my chores and errands. I'll share you something because this is something that you probably don't have with everything I have given you. Here, I'll show you. Go. Okay, so what I have here for you, buddy, is selenite, black tourmaline, crisk socola, which is a stone of empowerment and eases fear and anxiety. Now, I also gonna give you a smoky quartz, which removes negative energy and increases positive frequencies in your body. And of course, don't forget the red adventuring that encourages self forgiveness and confidence to boost you. Okay, now here. Dig it. We're gonna go for another round. And this time, we're gonna start, okay, at my count. All right, so, one, two, wait, come on. Hi guys, welcome to Cosmictology. This is the very first, I feel, <laughs> yes it is, for this year as the Ascendance. Um, the Ascendance or the Moon, it would apply to you for this full upcoming full moon of February 19th. Um, this is for the Aries. Aries Ascendant, Mars is going to be in your um, first natural house. You would feel a lot of probably... Um, how to say this because remember the first house is the head so you could probably have some sort of temper some sort of let's like, say aggression like you just wake up in the morning I just want to chop people off already and every morning it happens and especially every Monday remember anytime that is the first it's connected to everything first meaning the first of the month the first time in the morning everything in the first you have this thing you either you're fired up or you're fed up that's that's it that's always duality okay so fired up or fed up this is how you're having here right now but as the moon is happening in your fourth house so natural fourth house is in you know basically in where you reside okay but this is also where your mom is so chances are what are what are you gonna feel discomfort with your communication with your mom if you follow my 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 previous talk mercury ruled ashlesha your mom can be a little bit i need you i want you where are you what are you doing okay or this can also be the person that you love that you are living with your spouse your husband i need you i want you where are you what are you doing fed up fired up not gonna work out so it's important for you to remain very very much how to say this in um like centered that's why it's like you know you, you know like try to meditate try to just probably don't don't face it that day it's not the best time oh and the energy of the full moon um you know kind of um also vibrates on only five more days so be careful from the 19th moving forward not the best time to engage especially mars is in your first house you will have this fiery fiery temperamental Head. you probably feel like your your head is boiling during this transit but it's not really it's just the plan out okay so take a chill pill so rahu over here a lot of illusion and you probably will have a communication with your with whoever is living with you you're gonna tell them it's just like that's a lie that's not true i'm always here for you da 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 and for them it's just like no you're never this you're never that da 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 so it's bringing out okay but can be if you're not with anyone of course you're gonna tell them like Sal, i don't have anybody i don't only have 55 cats you know then it's gonna happen internal why do you have 55 cats something that you're not addressing cats are good but 55 i think is over i see 54 is okay okay so that's gonna be for the aries rising